Hey everyone, thanks for checking in. The Winchester USA Ready 9mm Plus P 124 grain jacketed hollow point. The latest in Winchester's already crowded offering of ammunition options. But you know, in 2021 we'll take whatever we can get, right? And this is one that has been available off and on over the last 18 months or so. We'll break it down for you as best we can relative to our frugal and under-motivated technical support staff. So a quick overview, maybe some comparisons to some other products in there that are in their lineup, such as the PDX-1 and the Silver Tip. Uh, then we're going to get into a block shot or block shots with 10% calibrated gel, four layers of denim, and then the wrap up. The Winchester USA Ready lineup was announced in early 2021. The press release indicates this is a consumer grade version of the Ranger 1 product, which is designed for law enforcement. This is packaged in standard 20 round boxes. I purchased the review ammo online, although I've heard it is available in retail stores. Muzzle velocity is advertised at 1200 feet per second, which is supposedly from a four inch barrel. Just above the velocity intel, note that Winchester is tracking ballistic data for each lot. Lot data is printed on the inside flap. When I visited the tracking site, the lot numbers for the boxes I purchased shared this information. I'm good with that velocity based on what I'm going to share with you in just a moment. Pressure, that is 11% below the PSI for 9mm plus P ammo. As for 1 inch group accuracy at 50 yards, I just don't see it. I need evidence on that one. Let's take a look at the hex vent. I'm on the fence to some degree with this concept. It's becoming a, a very common standard for defensive ammo. On closer inspection, this is truly an insert or a plug. Here are some measurements for this because I know some people are curious and the hex vent weighs only half a grain. Quick comparison to other products in the Winchester family. Left to right, I'm showing you the Silver Tip, Ranger, PDX-1, and USA Ready. It seems that the USA Ready will have more expanded pedals than any of the others, and that profile more likely is going to resemble that of the Ranger or PDX-1. From this angle, the lead core of the USA Ready has a bit of a setback in the jacket, similar to the Ranger. As for what I assume is nickel plating, this is the only common denominator with the silver tip. From the Glock 17, we see the advertised of 1200 twice, including one that was on the very high end of deviation. Down to the G19 and a bit tighter shot deviation. This average is pretty much in line with other loads advertised at 1,200 feet per second that I've clocked from this barrel length. Moving to the G26 and the shorter barrel provided much better shot consistency. In my opinion, this is really good velocity from this barrel length. One final note, while I can certainly shoot much faster, these points of impact at a moderate pace are in the zone. Ready for the block shots. This is 10% calibrated gel. I made this from scratch using Knox powder and distilled water. A little bit more details about that process in the video description. Got some backlighting for it. This is my Streamlight SLR7 with some, duct, with some duct tape. How about that? Imagine that in Tennessee. And we have to run this at 39 degrees. At the moment, we are very, very close. We're coming in right at 39, almost on 40. So as soon as I shut this off in a moment, we are going hot. There will be five shots from the Glock 19 from 10 feet. And this denim, this is 16 ounce heavy denim. This is the official IWBA, International Wound Ballistics Association protocol. Much more demanding than the four layer FBI protocol that I've used in the past. And very, very much more demanding than a cotton hoodie and a cotton t-shirt. And I get a lot of calls for that, but uh, that would be too easy for this ammo. So we are setting the bar high as it should be for defensive ammo purposes. Again, five shots here in just a moment. Hey, you gotta reset. No pass-throughs, that's fantastic news. Let's take a quick look at the front. You can see the shot placement. I'm really close on a couple there in the eight o'clock position. Hate it when that happens. Illumination, I think, is gonna come out okay uh, with both camera options. Looking over the top, 
with what we can see because it's still the gel is still really cloudy you can see where this just really opened up there and that's about the first six or seven inches or so let me change angles here and see if we can get a preliminary on the penetration depths let's take a look from the side here is the this is not a UFO this is the point of entry over here on the left all your disruption all the energy the greatest majority of it is being dispersed here in this initial area then we come in here and all the bullets are clustered in this area and, and, and check this out they are all pretty much in the it looks like the again this will be cloudy it looks like it's in the 9 10 11 inch range I don't think anything from what I can tell here made it to the 12 inch mark and if you go by the FBI's protocol with regard to penetration for defensive ammo uh, with clothing or, or denim or whatnot, these all fell short. Let's dig in and confirm if that is the case. Winchester's marketing videos mention that the USA Ready has an objective penetration range of 12 inches. I've always noticed that Winchester's non-bonded ammo is consistent in not achieving symmetrical expansion. As for the hex point, it worked as designed, depositing within the first four inches of penetration. As for the numbers, confirmed that all five were short of 12 inches penetration, two of these by quite a bit. Just keep in mind that defensive ammo may have to pass through other anatomical structures prior to reaching bone that protects vitals. I cannot recall a JHP in any caliber with so many expanded pedals. I am not an engineer, but it seems this would increase the coefficient of drag and reduce momentum. Winchester has stated an objective of 95% weight retention, and all of these are in that range. It should be obvious that USA Ready is an offspring of the Ranger. What remains for you to evaluate is whether or not the consumer is ready for an offspring that isn't quite as robust as the parent. Thanks for watching.